Hi boys and girls. We're going to start a story today. It's gonna to take a couple days and it has lots of animals in it. So kind of like the book that we read about insects a couple of weeks ago. Well, this book has to do with animals and all the animals are pink. And some of the animals like this blobfish are really kind of yucky looking, but also some of them are pretty cool. So we're gonna go through a couple pages at a time because there's lots of facts to learn on in this story. So it's gonna be a couple days. So let's start with our first couple of pages. The world of weird animals. Pink is for blobfish. Discovering the world's perfectly pink animals by Jess Keating with illustrations by David DeGrand. Pink is for blobfish. Think you know pink? Think again. Pink is for blobfish. Bizarre blobfish are made of a gelatinous goo, which is less dense than water. This allows them to lazily drift through the ocean like bloated pink balloons. Blobfish don't hunt for food. Instead, when something edible floats by, they simply open their mouths and gulp it up. Pretty in pink, the blobfish was recently voted the ugliest animal in the world in a poll taken by the Ugly Animal Preser Preserva Preservation Society. <laughs> Luckily, blobfish don't use mirrors, so they aren't bothered by their less than cute faces. As if this wasn't bad enough, another name for the blobfish is Fathead Sculpin. This fish can't catch a break. They can be up to 12 inches from nose to tail, and they eat anything edible that floats by, including snails, worms, crustaceans, and other slow moving animals. Their habitat consists of deep waters surrounding Australia and New Zealand, where few animals can survive. Their predators and threats consist of blobfish have, consist, <laughs> sorry, blobfish have no known predators and are inedible to humans. Yet many scientists believe they may face extinction soon as they are often caught in fishermen's nets by accident. Pink is for pink toe tarantulas. It is very easy to spot mysterious Antilles pink toe tarantulas in pet stores, but much harder to find them in the wild. At night, they scurry out of their funnel webs high in the trees to search for food. Hairy business. Have you ever thought of using your hair as a weapon? When these spiders get nervous, they can rub off urticating hairs from their abdomen. These hairs get into the eyes and skin of a predator, which is extremely painful and a huge bummer for any creature looking for an easy meal. Despite their beautiful pink correlation, as adults, Antilles pink toe spiderlings are bright blue when they hatch. So they can be four to six inches. They eat insects, worms, and small lizards. They live in the rainforests of Martinique and Guadalupe off the northern coast of South America. These creatures need trees to survive and build webs, so deforestation may eventually pose a threat to them. Pink is for the orchid mantis. It's kind of hard to see. This is its head and its body, part of its legs. It blends into the flower. With flattened petal-like arms that stand out against green leaves, orchid mantises look like harmless, beautiful flowers, but these pretenders have strong arms and big appetites patiently waiting to snatch up any insect that comes too close. Made you look. Sometimes nature can be tricky. Scientists wanted to know if the insects that landed on orchid mantises were really fooled into thinking they were flowers. They came up with an experiment where they gave insects a choice. They could land on an orchid mantis or a real Malaysian flower. And voila, 
It turned out that the insects picked mantises more often than actual flowers. They can be 0.5 to 6 inches in size. They eat insects like crickets and flies, as well as some small lizards. They live in the rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia. They're the predators and threats for orchid mantises is because they live in areas with many white and pink flowers. The same coloration that lures prey to them also works as camouflage against would-be predators such as birds, toads, rodents, bats, and lizards. Like other rainforest creatures, their gravest threat stems from habitat lost, to, lost due to human development. Pink is for pygmy seahorses. Pygmy seahorses hide out in plain sight, nestled amongst the pink coral of the ocean floor. They are extremely fragile, so it's important for scuba divers to be careful around them. Even the bright flash of a camera can disturb them. Number one, dad. In most animal species, it is usually the female who become preg becomes pregnant and gives birth but seahorses don't care about tradition. Instead, male seahorses become pregnant and carry the eggs in a pouch on their bellies until they hatch. If that isn't enough to earn them the Dad of the Year award, they also keep the eggs clean and protect them from predators. They can be up to 1.1 inches in size. Their diet includes tiny crustaceans such as brine shrimp. They live in the waters surrounding Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Malaysia, Japan, and Northern Australia. Many of the world's seahorse populations are decreasing. In some countries, seahorses are believed to have medicinal properties. Because of this, millions of them are caught every year. Seahorses are also threatened by loss of habitat as their favorite seagrasses, reefs, and mangroves are declining worldwide. That's all for today, boys and girls. We'll come back tomorrow and learn some more about these silly and weird pink animals.